Hello, my name is Michelle Noonan from Divi Soup and for recipe number 20 I'm going to show you how to create a full width alternating blog layout. And for the full blog post for this recipe and the accompanying CSS you can go to divisoup.com forward slash r20. So for our ingredients we're going to need the Divi theme from Elegant Themes, an active child theme and some existing blog posts or some demo content. This is going to take you around 10 minutes max. And for our preparation, we need to set up the section. So in your WordPress admin panel, if you go to pages and add new, and make sure that you have the Divi Builder activated, and then insert a single column and the blog module. Save and exit, then open up the row settings, turn on make this row full width and use custom gutter width and bring the slider down to one, then save and exit. Now I'm going to show you the method that we use. Open up the blog module settings, we want our layout at full width. Our post numbers, anything you want, I'm going to choose five. Select the categories you want to include. Have show featured image set to yes. Content show excerpt. Read more button on. Featured image overlay off. We're going to set this in the CSS. And then any other settings you can decide on yourself, but that's all we need for the layout. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the custom CSS tab and give this module a CSS class of ds-alternating-blog. Then save and exit. And if we preview the page now, we can see it doesn't quite look like the demo. So now it's time for the CSS. So grab the CSS from the accompanying blog post at divisuit.com forward slash r20 and then you want to paste it into your child theme style sheet. If you're not using a child theme, which you really should be, then you can put it in the Divi theme options custom CSS box. For the purpose of this recipe, I'm actually going to put it in the page specific CSS box. So I'm going to paste it in here and click save and then I'm going to preview again and here's our alternating blog layout and that's it if you like this recipe head on over to divisoup.com forward slash r20 at the bottom of the blog post you'll see an area where you can get access to download the layout and you can also subscribe to my newsletter to receive all of my recipes weekly straight to your inbox thanks for watching